I am in St. Louis for a soccer tournament and I saw that there was an estate sale nearby where between games, so for sure I'm coming. All right, there's a dumpster on site. That's usually a good sign. I'm in the garage. Got some brushes. Sure want this one. Little colander, it's five dollars. They said everything was twenty-five percent off today. Ironstone, made in England. Six dollars. Oh, I like this colander. Don't find these often. Three dollars. Gonna get that one. I want to get that piece up there. It looks like handmade pottery. It's $24. If it was white and blue and not gray and blue, I'd probably grab that. But look what I just spotted. A whale cutting board. You know that's coming home with me. This looks like some glow blue mugs. No markings on the bottom. So they might just be reproductions. Let me see what the price is. $2.25 for all three pieces. What is this wood piece? Never find these. $12.50. I don't know if that's a good price or not. I'm going to think about it. I like this crock right here. And it says tools. I think this would be really cute to put some paint brushes. $4. Holder only. Utensils don't come with it. It has some cracks, but they're very superficial and I kind of feel like it gives it a cool look. I'm gonna get this piece. It looks like $12 is a pretty good price for this, so I think I'm gonna get that piece as well. Ooh, what is this canister set right here? It's blue and white. $30 for the set. Let me see if there's any markings on the bottom. Made in Germany. These are really cool. The coffee one is messed up. There's so much blue and white powder in this house. Look how cute. Bath powder. Two dollars. Comes with the bath powder. And it's marked on the bottom. I can't read it, but for three dollars, I'm for sure getting this piece. I do like these white busts, but they have some chips and cracks in them. $5 for this. Oh, it's like, um, is it a jewelry music box? I'm not sure. Look at this doll up here. And look, she's holding a little creepy baby. Look at his face. $10 for this piece. I don't know. Should I get it? <laughs> okay, I figured it out. She's actually a nurse. She's taking care of the baby, and she's a music player. She plays music. She has a little wind-up thing in the back. Here's another copper piece right here. Copper colander hanging piece. I don't see a price on it, but it's probably not that expensive. Oh, here's an alabaster bookend. Eight dollars. This one's small. Usually when I find them, they're huge. I love this. I'm probably going to get that for myself. It looks so great just on a stack of books. So cute. This is a really nice faux pie. It really looks real, so I'm going to get it. These are great just for staging. This little canister's precious. It says it's a three-piece set. Oh. Why is there two lids? That's the three pieces right there. That lid and this lid. That's strange. Have y'all ever seen one of those before? What is that for? And this is cute. A little tiny ginger jar. Five dollars. Apparently there's a downstairs. So let's go check it out. Don't worry, we are not done shopping yet. But first, I want to tell y'all about my new obsession, Whatnot, because I think that you will absolutely love it as well. And if you don't know what Whatnot is, it's an app where all day long they have 
live auctions going on. So people like me showing you pretty much anything and everything you could be interested in from live plants to luxury handbags to coins to beautiful vintage home decor that I love and I know you love as well. So if you are brand new to whatnot, I'm going to have a link in the description. If you use that link, you're going to get a $15 credit. I will also put a link if you're interested in becoming a seller like me. It is super fun over there. I know you're going to love it. And I'll also put a link to my next show, which is going to be October 17th at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm actually going to be auctioning off all of the items that I purchased in today's sale. And I'm also going to find some stuff around my house because if you did not hear the announcement, we are moving, we are building a new home. So it is time to purge. And if you didn't hear, I'll put a link in the description where you can go read all about that. So y'all definitely come over and join me on Whatnot on October 17th. And let's get back to shopping. Oh man, Five this is where all the stuff is at. The you think that works? Tiny little it vacuum. Is. Ooh, more blue and white pottery. These pieces are precious. $14 for all three pieces. Made in Thailand, hand painted. I think these are ashtrays maybe. $3 each. <gasps> Stop. Look at this cute little colander. Man, this is where I need us to come first. Here's another piece right here. This one is broken. That's cute too. It says as is, so it must be broken. Look at that set over there. No markings on it. Let's see what the price is. Eight dollars, sixteen pieces. They have a whole kitchen down here. There's some more copper stuff over here. These are big chafing dishes. They're seventeen fifty each, but I'm not interested in those. I don't really see anything else. Ooh, this piece. I want that. And they have some furniture pieces. These bar stools are nice, but I don't know what height I need for the new house. This is twenty dollars, but I also don't need a piano bench. This is cute. $25. That's a good price. Oh, and look what's behind it. it look at that. Sewing table. This one's $70. Alright, another room downstairs. This might be the biggest blue and white bowl I have ever seen. It is $40. I kind of want it, but what if I don't actually have a spot for it? Oh, that's awesome. I like this bowl too. This one's 25. Let's see if there's any markings on it. Yes, it says made in Italy. Wow, that's beautiful. That'd be an amazing fruit bowl. Oh, probably gonna leave both of them here just cause I can't think of a, a place to put them and they're so huge. Ooh. Look at this crocheted blanket. This is gorgeous. Where is the price on this? I want this. I don't see a price. I'm gonna have to ask. I definitely want this piece. What is this? I think this is a bed skirt, like a blue, yeah. Blue and white bedding. Ooh, this is pretty too. That'd be gorgeous hanging on a hook. I like that as well. So I'll probably get these two pieces right here. That was a really good sale. The only thing that could have made it better if it is if it was 50% off day, but I did my little bundle trick where I just got a bunch of stuff and I asked for a better deal and they gave me a better deal. So that was great. But there's one thing that I have to show y'all. So I did end up buying the doll. The main reason that I bought the doll was because this baby I don't know if y'all saw the video of me buying the three-headed doll, but I was like, man, that looks just like the three-headed doll. And I kind of like peeked and I was like, no, she only has one face. But when I got back to the car, I actually pulled off the bonnet. Y'all, it is a mini 
three-headed baby. Are you serious? I didn't know a, you know, a normal size three-headed baby existed. There's a mini three-headed baby. <sighs> How crazy is that? So this is gonna be auctioned off in my would not sale, whoever wants this. And then she comes with a nurse to take care of her. So if she's, you know, crying, where's her cry face? If she's crying, the nurse will come take care of her. So again, all of this will be on my what not sale October 17th at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, and I'll have everything linked in the description for y'all. And I also started the rewards program on whatnot. So if you spend more, you save more, and I'll tell y'all all about that at the show on October 17th at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. So I hope y'all enjoyed this thrifting adventure, and leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought was the best item. We know what the craziest item is. We know what the craziest item is. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all leave a comment let me know what the best item is and i will see y'all in my next thrifting adventure bye guys